Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin and today I'm going to be painting 10 autumnal themed plant pots. I'm painting 5 small ones and then 5 big ones to match. I'm starting off by using this white gesso primer and I'm just going to apply one coat to each plant pot. I'm doing these plant pots for my friend's wedding but you can use these for your Etsy store or sell them online or you can just use them for decoration in your own house or garden. plant pots all primed, completely dried and ready to be painted. Whilst the plant pots are drying or being painted I always put them on this grease proof paper, it's just baking paper and this just makes it easier for me to turn them around and things and stops the paint from scratching off. The first two that I'm doing are brown and this took about two coats in the end to make the colour completely opaque. two pots I'm doing are this sort of maroon burgundy type colour and after I applied this first coat to these I ended up just making the colour a little bit more dark and painting them again and this this paint took about four coats maybe even five coats to get completely opaque I think it didn't help that I changed the colour but um, it was quite transparent the coats were so to make this colour I just mixed red and blue and a little bit of yellow. The next two pots that I'm doing are yellow and to make this yellow I just mixed primary yellow and white. This colour looks a lot less bright in real life, it doesn't look as lemon yellow as it does on camera. And I believe this one took about four coats of yellow to get completely opaque as well. colour that I'm doing is cream and I mixed white with a little bit of yellow and a tiny tiny bit of black for this colour and for this one it took around about four coats of paint in total. The last two pots that I'm doing are green and for this colour I just mixed olive green, a little bit of yellow and white. And this green took around three coats of paint to get completely opaque. Here are all my pots with all of the colours completed and this process took around 8 hours or so to get everything looking exactly how I wanted 
it was a long process and a lot of just going back over the same pots again and again and waiting for them to dry. You can speed up the drying process with a hairdryer if you want to but every time that I would finish the last pot, the first pot would be completely dry and ready for the next coat so it wasn't really necessary for me to speed up any drying process. The only ones I wasn't happy about is these two looking quite a similar colour but I still think they look nice. The next thing for me to do is draw on my designs and I decided to use a gold Posca pen to draw my leaf designs on and my plan is for each colour to be different pattern so the two yellows I'm going to do this pattern I mean for the next colour I'll do a different leaf pattern so that they're all matching but different. I decided to only film me drawing on the smaller pots as this would be the quickest ones and I've decided to speed this up so that the video didn't go on too long. You can slow this down if you want to um, but I'm sure you can get the idea from watching the sped up version. At this point I hadn't decided yet whether I was going to draw on the top edge of the pot or just leave it plain but I did decide after I finished filming this one to draw on the top part as well so I will show you that later as well. Please bear with me, I did forget myself for a minute and started drawing this one off camera. I do push it on in a second. Um, this one turned out to be one of my favourite designs. I'm really happy with the way that this one turned out and it was quite easy and quick to do as well.
before this cream one I decided to do these vines going down and this one probably turned out to be one of my least favourites it's not that I don't like it um, I just preferred some of the other designs that I did and this one took quite a long time as well pots I decided to draw little leaves spiraling around the pots. Uh, this one I think it does look like leaves but it sort of does look like little fish as well I'm not really sure but it didn't turn out too badly I think it looks nice once it's finished as well uh, and with the other pots you can tell it's leaves. <laughs> final two pots of these green ones and for this design I wanted to draw some like randomly placed leaves and I'm not sure what these actually are these little spiky things uh, but I saw a nice patterned picture online of like autumnal type things um, and I actually used a silver Posca pen as well in this one this is the only one that I used a silver pen with and I think it turned out quite well I, I preferred the big one over the little one I think it looked a lot nicer on a bigger surface but I still think it looks nice.
So before I go in with my varnish, I actually always put a coat of Mod Podge onto the pots and this is to prevent the varnish from smudging the design. Sometimes when you put the varnish directly on, it can like smear the Posca pens. I always use my Polyvine heavy duty wood varnish to paint the pots and I put three coats of this on and this will protect it, it makes it a bit waterproof and you can leave these pots outside as well. are my finished pots. I really like how they've all turned out. My favourite ones are the first two that I did so I really like the yellow one and the burgundy one. They're my favourite designs that I did and I think I really like the gold on burgundy as well. That looks really nice. Please let me know what you think in the comments and let me know which one was your favourite and if you do give this a try out at home let me know as well how it went. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.